Hi folks, my name is Jennifer Bautista. I am one of the transfer admissions counselors at Seattle University. Today we are going to be going over how to fill out the prerequisite section in the application for our BSN students. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is what the prerequisite section will be looking like. As you can see, it has instructions um, on how to fill this out. We expect students to have uh, completed fields for all 10 prerequisites. And uh, this is going to be really important for students as uh, if there are missing fields, if there is missing information, the application will not let you submit uh, the, the full application. So it's really important that students fill out every single field accordingly. Um, as you can see, we do expect students uh, that are applying and in order to be eligible for our nursing program to have the seven of the 10 prerequisites completed by the time of application. And uh, one of those seven must be one of the following. So it either has to be anatomy and physiology one, anatomy and physiology two, or microbiology. Uh, and we also expect to see one of the following two, so either college algebra or statistics. And then, of course, all 10 prerequisites must be completed by the end of spring term. And we're very, uh, we emphasize spring term, uh, not summer term, but spring term. It's really important students have those completed by the end of spring. So, it lists out the prerequisites. Uh, this is the Seattle University course number and title. And then we can go down here and start adding different sections. As you can see, I already completed one section, one prerequisite, which is Math 1010. Uh, so I filled that out. Um, accordingly, every single field has some, some sort of answer. And then I go ahead and say, so to walk you all through it, let's go ahead and add a new prerequisite. We will go ahead and do statistics. So it asks you these questions. Please, please, please uh, move forward with answering this uh, uh, however uh, you all would like. If you all have completed a course or you have not, uh, you will be choosing this one. If you have taken a test, uh, or have not, please indicate so accurately on uh, on this page and in these fields. So as you can see, if you indicate yes to this question, it will pull up some additional fields which you saw uh, on that uh, last prerequisite section for Math 1010. Again, we need to fill this out accordingly. This is where students will be inputting their course number and course name from their institution. So it might look a little bit different than, uh, you know, the statistics or math 1010 course that we have. And then uh, go ahead and say, oh, and again, it does not let you save if you have not completed every single field. So let's take a step back. And if you have completed a test, uh, you will go ahead and indicate yes. It will ask you to name the test and it will ask you to list your test score. If students have not completed either a course or a test, totally okay. We will just need to make sure that uh, you answer these accordingly. So indicate that you have not completed or you will not complete an equivalent course and that you have not taken a test. So again, every single field, every single prerequisite must have uh, all fields accurately filled out. And then we can go ahead and save it. So folks will be adding uh, a section for every single prerequisite. So it's really important that students double check that at the end, they have 10 different sections and no more, no less, uh, that there's no duplicates in there. So again, it's really important that students go through this very meticulously. Uh, 
and with a lot of attention to detail to make sure that students are filling this out uh, appropriately. Again, if students do not, they will receive an error message and it will not let the students submit the application. I hope this was help helpful, folks. Uh, please let us know if you all have any additional questions. Feel free to email the transfer team at transfer at seattleu.edu.